Tell us about this race, the 2019 championship. So we're not talking over. <laughs> uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was great from any other race that I, that I had. Um, I was surprised that I, I won the 8-3 relay just because with the 8-3 relay, it was um, the beginning of the, of the NCAA. It was the, 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 my first NCAAs. Uh, so I guess he had more historic aspect and value. Uh, plus, we were the first of breaking an NCAA record, so we were the first relay and ever like in the program uh, of uh, actually breaking an NCAA record. So I, I felt that um, the A3 was going to continue in the bracket, just because I think it was holding more emotions. Um, I still remember the goosebumps that we were getting, just standing behind the block watching Soren. Uh, finishing strong and uh, getting a bigger lead from the other teams. Uh, but also at the same time, uh, going back and forth from the stands, from the parents, from the team, and keep watching the race. And I just, I'm getting the good stuff right now while we're talking. Um, so that's why I was surprised of, um, the, from, of me, the two fly, uh, going moving to the, uh, in, um, to the bracket. I think it was just because I was uh, – back-to-back -back national champion in the two fly, uh, continue breaking the ACC record just a, a, by a little, but still <laughs> I broke it. Um, so I think that was the, that, that, that was a part that actually got the, um, um, the, the most points. And that was the aspect of like getting the most points in both uh, Instagram and Twitter. Right. Probably. Well, yeah. I, I know the panel when we spoke, because our votes count as double, and then we have okay. we have an alumni whose vote counts as three. Ooh, is okay. is I think the big thing for us with your race is not many people know that you battled um, you know a hernia injury uh, throughout yeah. that whole year, and it was debating whether we stop and get surgery because of 2020, um, you know, because of European Championships and. And, you know, you, we decided, you decided that let's finish this. It was your last race of your career. And, you know, I, I do think it helps that in 2018, we won the 800 free relay again. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it, it, I don't know if it takes away from the 2017 a little bit, but I think it allowed your back-to-back -back shine a little bit more of, because now you're the only one in program history to win an event back-to-back, -back, you know. Yeah. And overcoming, oh, and overcoming what you did that year. I think a lot of us alluded to that when we were having our discussion. Was the relay was incredible? What you did the first time was incredible as well. But you did what you did the first time. You were in extremely good shape, and you were extremely healthy. Yeah. And the yeah. second time around, we weren't even sure if you were going to even compete in that event, let alone the meet. Um, so I think a lot of that, there's a lot of emotion wrapped into that. There's a lot of emotional investment wrapped into that. So it was, I wouldn't say it was a slam dunk, but like it was pretty clear which way we were going to lean. At least I did. Yeah, yeah. I understand. And, and, and thank you for sure. Uh, it was a, a really big moment, not only to uh, win again for the in the two fly, but as you said, it was a, a pretty uh, difficult year after in December after the first semester uh when I was diagnosed with uh double hernia not only one but it just it, they needed more company so I had two uh <laughs> it was it, it was pretty uh, difficult I was uh spending a lot of time with uh Jasmine our play trainer uh and uh I think it was uh just a lot in our plates and in for the coaching staff as well the way that we were training i was trying to push myself every day but at the same on the same time i was trying not to overdo it um in order not to have any more um serious consequences with uh with the hernias so yeah i i do understand then uh, i appreciate it and uh it, it's something that i was uh uh, trying to hide the whole year uh, I didn't want the team to <laughs> figure it out because I, I knew that they were expecting a lot from me and as their captain but also as one of the big guns in NCAAs and NCCs so I was really trying to um, hide it and keep it just low-key it's just nothing happened just doing more uh, 
uh, recovery with Jasmine. <laughs> um, right. So yeah, it was it was a big moment for sure. Now, do you have the ring? You have the ring from uh, the race. Which one I, is that? I have the one from uh, the the A3 relay. <laughs> you have the one against the the one that you just beat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I remember the, that yeah. ring. That was the one that was so big. You guys yeah. like, demolished my budget when you did that. Sorry, um, but not sorry. Hey, <laughs> you know, if if the eight hundred free relay from eighteen wins their matchup, that's who you're gonna face. So you're You'll be facing yourself again with, <laughs> again. <laughs> with Ryan and Jacob and Justin. Um, no, a lot of people, you know, obviously you were with us for a while and you were with us through the European Championships, which was, which was your last meet with, with us, um, which was awesome because you ended up breaking the European record and 200 fly, winning that one. But 2 I am. 2 I am. 2 I am. Yeah. And uh, – <laughs> I remember we were at we were at the same time. I was at the U.S. Open and we were watching it live with everyone there, and it was pretty cool. But now you have, you know, you have uh, an NCAA postgraduate scholarship yes. that you are able to use, and you're going to England. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Tell us about that. Get your master. Well, <laughs> staying in school is what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. Um, yeah, I had a great time at NC, uh, at NC State. I, the moment I stepped in the, in the pool, I, I really felt that I had a, another family. I never felt homesick, which one was the biggest thing that, I, that kept me there and kept me pushing myself uh, beyond uh, any limit that I was imagining that I had. Um, so that was, it was a hard dilemma to when I had to finish my degree, my undergrad. It was a big dilemma if I stayed at NC State and train through for Olympics or go back home. Um, and now with all things that happen with uh, the Olympics, um, I managed to find um, uh, a university in uh, closer home in England, in uh, Loughborough, uh, and the, the Loughborough University, which they have close to what NC State has. They have like a, a, an ideal balance between academics and sports, uh, the coaching staff, they're working with uh, the academic department just to create the uh, ideal uh, environment for them to work together and um, uh, put the pressure away, like take the pressure off uh, from the student athletes and uh, so they can be able to do both at the same time. And uh, they say, uh, this, like in the meantime, they are the top university the past four years in um, any sports science subject uh, research and um, major at the same time. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I was um, worried that I wasn't able to find the perfect spot, but uh, when the offer came, I was uh, really happy. Um, I'm doing masters in sports and exercise psychology. My undergrad was in psychology, and since I have been swimming uh, when since I was uh, three and a half years old, I wanted to try to find the perfect major and the perfect job in order to incorporate sports with that. And since I wasn't, and I'm not going to be like professional swimmer uh, for a lot of time because we all have an expiration date. I wanted to find a different aspect that I can help what I've been doing and I have and when I've what I've loved for so many years and um, since mental health is something that is uh, really really important because you don't as an athlete you don't have right. to train only your body but your mind and uh, psychology as well um, I wanted to help from that perspective no well, I mean uh it's an amazing journey that you've had and it continues and, and, you know, having worked with you every single day, it was, it was a blast. And, you know, people don't know Andreas. I mean, you know, I think they know, I mean, you're a school record holder in the 200 IM, 200 fly, 200 free. But I think what's unique, if you go back, if you look at our, our program, it's amazing how many times you see your name towards the top of our list, right? 100 free, uh, 100 back, 200 back, 400 IM, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, did, right? you did two you did races, one, one prelims. One prelims. I did it. Yeah. I did it once through my career. It was a mid season uh two years ago. Last yeah, yeah two years two ago. Years ago. Yeah. <laughs> my senior year I we tried it at four AM. <laughs> yeah, I think you were like three forty four or something. I mean it was it was pretty good. I'm a um I'm a tell maybe. Yeah. Yeah, three forty two. Right. Yeah, I think that I did the prelims and you were saying, let's scratch it. And I said, no, I'm going to raise the finals. Like, you put me in that. I'm not even back down. And yeah, then yeah, I regretted it the more that I stepped in. <laughs> I'm just unfortunate I mean, you didn't get time on three meter. That's where I thought you could. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to tell you a, a story I told the other day um, to an alum that I was talking to. Uh, it was about the brackets. And uh, it was regarding your first NCAA title. We did a practice on a Saturday morning, long course, and you were in lane one, right, right next to the sun deck. And we did this big 200 fly set. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember this, but we finished the I set. Just saw- <laughs> you walked right by me. You didn't say it. You finished the set. You got out. You walked right by me. <laughs> you went outside the door onto the, the sun deck outside. and you just sat there. And so yeah. I'm like, I'm like waiting. I'm waiting. I, I'm like, all right, I, I, I'm giving them some, cause it was a hard set. I was like, give them space. Yeah. And then I went out there and I like patted you on the back and you looked at me. You're like, I hate you. <laughs> but, but then you said, but now I know I can win a national title. Like that was, that was pretty cool. Like I, I was like nervous, like, Oh God, he's so mad at me. And then like, nah, like but then Oh my God, I broke up. Andreas. <laughs> well, so, it's only that because after that, you, you, I gave you a big smile about saying that, but at the same time you said, well, you have to get back to the pool because the man said it's not over. <laughs> so I was just like, a what? Uh, I yeah, because it, I had I to keep it. I that's a, that's a big surprise because uh, I think two days ago or three days ago that I was uh, doing um, a cleanup with my hard drive and I found the video and I was <laughs> laughing hard. <laughs> so I I still remember the feeling. Uh, I still remember saying, "Well, I need my walls. Let's not do that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because no. you, you know, after five strokes, I I really needed a wall to do an underwater. I don't want to do ten more strokes for sure. <laughs> right. Um, well. Oh, that was cool. And, and you left a four-time national champion. Um, and now you're in the final four of this bracket, which is, has gotten heated. You know, it's, it's, the votes are getting close early on. There was some landslides, a couple of upsets. You know, and, and um, you know, I think there's a little bit more. It's funny, the difference between the panel, we were talking the other day, the difference between the women and the men is there's, because of some of the big relays and some of the big records on the men's side that happened the last few years, there's a lot of relays, you know, and yeah. is there any one of these that you feel is going to be tough to beat? Uh, I think the four free, uh, after seeing your panel by like uh, all the coaches talking about the four free and, yeah. um, uh, with breaking the, the NCAA record and the, uh, I'm- one for sure um and i think it's good to say that i love that we have that difficulty by like choosing to vote like i had it was hard to pick myself that i've been living those moments that i was there in, in those moments but at the same time in the ones that i wasn't uh for example with uh see me with uh Simone's Billis, I, I still i wasn't there but I, after watching videos or talking to him or talking with the coaches like getting that momentum from the path from the previous years walk into the new errors, the new freshmen and the new team, like the new classes that they're coming. I think that's the key part that our team, that NC State has. We, we have that family uh, spirit, that family energy that keeps the momentum throughout the era, regardless of who you're racing. You're racing for the diamond and for the wolf bike. Uh, and I, I think it's just, it shows how, quality work that we do not only like 
quantity but quality work and that's why we have so many guys to step up and that they're ready for the relays because that we can choose for like six or seven uh, uh, guys and it's really hard for you guys but at the same time I think it's great that it's too hard um, and we show to the rest of the NCAAs and the rest of the teams that it's not only four guys, it's only one who won like the national champion, but we have like three more guys in the final A and final B. Um, so I think the, the depth of this team is, is just great and it shows up and that's why it's so hard to pick which one to vote and because also you have emotions at the same time and it's making it more hard. So that's right. why you don't, want, you don't know what to pick. Yeah. Um, that's why Derek went so far. I mean, <laughs> Derek's 100 breaststroke went really far because I think everyone remembers, you know, with him, he was like the ultimate like workhorse, you know, just yeah. like no one. I mean, he, he took himself to the, <laughs> to the depths of hell every single day. <laughs> and when he won, I think it was, it was almost like a win for everybody, you know, and I, and I was, that's why I think that one, for example, went so far. Yeah. So. Uh, it just like, yeah, it shows how close the coaching staff and the team is and every moment counts. Like you, you, oh, yeah. you said yeah. every time and, and, and every point counts. And that's why we put our passion and heart to just give every, last bit you know like to get the, uh, the nc state higher in the in the rankings and the placing and in everything yeah well, i think I, you hit it on the nail it's just not um everybody's invested not in the sport but everybody's invested in each other so yes. if one succeeds we all succeed and if one of us fails we all fail but we pick up those ourselves and go um i think that was beautifully put I mean, I think you, you nailed it on the head. Absolutely. Yeah, I think everyone's going to be pretty bummed when we, when we let everyone know that you still have three more years of eligibility and we're bringing you back. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Bring me more years. <laughs> but now we're going breaststroke. <laughs> uh, not right. Maybe for the start and then we can switch it out. <laughs> All right. Well, we're glad that you were able uh, to join us today. And uh, – Absolutely. It is my pleasure. I miss you all. And yeah, uh, I hope you. everyone is uh, well and safe through these uh, difficult uh, times that, we, uh, that we're facing. Um, so I think it's, it's great to chat and have some fun because I, I can wait uh, for all the quarantines to lift up so I can visit again. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, have you. For, you know, alumni weekend this year. Is it this year? I don't think we have one this year. I do it next, every two no, years. It's so next year. Next year, yeah. Oh, yeah, so that gives us time. Well, yeah. we may be calling you again if you win, because we're going to have to do a Zoom. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we'll see how far it goes. Um, keep both. And then if the relay, we can have the whole relay. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be fine. It'll it, be great. <laughs> there's still a lot of relays. Anton's still in there, and I think Coleman's still in there. Yeah, the, um, the 100 back. Those are the only ones left. Um, I think, yeah. So, actually, Coleman's got two 100s back, but there's no way that both of them move on, I think. It, that'd be tough. He's, Ooh, that'd the be issue good. is he's got, he's got the four free relay he's going against. Yeah. So, that'll be interesting. That'll be hard, but, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, c congrats on moving forward. Glad everything's right. going well. Thank you very much. Andreas Vizayos. Thank we're, you. We're hanging up. Talk to you later, man. Go, Pike. All right. Thank you. Bye. See you, Andreas. Bye, guys. Bye. Is your button still the same? My button's.